we're going to go to the newly drafted first draft pick of the Dallas Cowboys, one Micah Parsons, Cowboys linebacker Micah Parsons, who's going to do something actually I'm very, 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 very jealous of. Uh, he's going to get to wear 11 as as a professional. Welcome into the show, sir. Hey, Var, what's up, baby? Hey, how you doing, man? We got TJ hey, Hushman's hey, out hey, here. Hey, 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 hold it. Hey, hold it. Hey, hey, hold it. Hey, this ain't no piss, but this ain't no hey, uh, Var, piss state up, reunion. Baby. Right. Talking about, hey, Var. Hey. Uh, TJ and Plex on this show, too, man. You don't come and talk about, hey, Var, what's happening? Hey, my fault. It's, it's, it's a PA thing, baby. No, yeah, no, yeah, see, yeah, it's a PA see, thing. it is a PA see? thing. Okay, uh, uh, you know, I, I, I see. I see how I see how this interview going it's already. A, it's a bird thing. I mean, you know, it is what it is. You know, you, you got to throw it out there. It's a stick city thing. I mean, you got to throw it out there, right? I mean, it just is what it is. I mean, shameless plugs. Hey, Micah, let me let me ask you a question right now because the the conversation that we've been having coming into the show was. What happens after the excitement of the draft? What what comes next? Because I've seen you, I've seen the video of you out working and doing the drills. What what have you been doing? What has this been like for you so far? Uh, right now, you know, I've just been taking it all in, just making sure I stay on my grind. You know, we report the mini camp next week, so – Really just trying to stay in shape for that, you know, just trying – I'm in the urge to get out on the field just because, you know, I opted out. So, uh, sure. you know, I'm just trying to do more football drills and trying to get ready for minicamp next week. How much of a, how much of that does does that play a part in your hunger to want to work so hard right now um, not not participating in the season this year? Uh, it, it increases my hunger a lot. You know, it makes me hungry for much more. And it makes me very excited and very – you know, really hungry just to prove myself and, you know, try to be the new face of the franchise and things like that. So, um, very excited. So, go, going to Dallas, Michael, what's up? This is TJ. Going to Dallas, obviously one of the iconic franchises in the NFL. That, that's like a dream come true for a ton of players. You're the lucky one that drafted in the top ten. They already have two good linebackers. So, as soon as you get there, all eyes are going to be on you. Have you let yourself get distracted, enjoy the moment a bit too much? Or like you said, are you just focused on, I got to be the best player I, I can be. I got to go prove them right, prove myself right. Or have you had some fun also mixed in with working? Because I had a lot of fun when I got drafted. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, of course you got to have fun mixed in with working. I mean, I don't think it ever be like too much work, you know, um, but at the same time, I know what the goal is, and I think that's even better to have two people there. You know, the competition level will be high. Um, gives you a great opportunity to learn. You know, those guys, these vets, uh, been there for four plus, uh, going into four plus years for both of them. So, you know, I think it's a terrific opportunity to look at it. You know, I got guys in front of me that's going to teach me the game, teach me the ropes. Uh, you know, me and Jalen is real close. You know, we connect all the time through text messages. Um, his excitement to have me out there playing next to him. So, you know, uh, going into this, it's like really excited. And, you know, of course I'm having fun. You know, I think everybody has fun at 21, 22. So, um, but, yes, you know, indeed. I stay focused well, on yes, the grind indeed. when I need what, to. What type of fun, Micah? Mm-hmm. Can you can you disclose what type of fun? <laughs> beep, beep, uh, beep. Yeah, you know, but, Var, well, it wasn't your type of fun. You know, oh, you do double oh, what I do. Oh, <laughs> when you was wow. Oh, wow. Really? That's good. We learn yeah, from the mistakes I, of those I, that hey, come before you, us. You asked the exactly. question, Var. Yeah, but he, he definitely turns it around on me. Go ahead, Plex. Ask another question. Let's get out of here. Well, well, <laughs> Let's hey. get away from this. <laughs> hey, 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 TJ, man, I don't know what uh, – uh, why we deserve to be around all these Penn State guys the last couple of weeks, but I, man, you know how many times you know, I played Stick last City week and then Mike well, this week because we didn't like, get we didn't get a first rounder from Utah or right, Oregon right. State or uh, or um, Michigan. Michigan State, oh, and y'all hey, got hey, two. But, huh? hey, sorry, hey, but Mike, I will say this though, man. <laughs> I, I, on the on a more on a more serious tip, I, I've had this conversation with Lavar several times, and you know, for me, when, uh, playing against Lavar, being at Michigan State, and him at Penn State, and wearing number eleven. You know, Le- Levar, when I when I, when I was playing against him, you know, he was d- the best linebacker that, that I had ever seen play. Wow, thank you. And and uh, 
to have the testicular fortitude to walk into Penn State into the equipment window and ask for number 11 is, is, is pretty ballsy for a young man. Did you feel any pressure to be able to go no, out and perform and to wear number 11? No, I didn't feel no pressure. I feel like I always knew I had potential. I wouldn't say, you know, I, I'm not going to say I wanted to be just like LeVar. It just so happens we play similar. But, you know, I thought I had the potential to be a great linebacker at Penn State. So, I don't. I think the expectation was high for other people, but I think for myself, like that's what I was supposed to do. Yeah, you know? and, 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 I just and felt now, like, you know the 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 truth of the matter is is that we strategically thought through the approach of of your branding, and 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 just what it came down to is for one, I knew I knew how gifted he was, Plex. Like I saw him play. I, I you know he was a tailback. Right. He's he's running. He's running back kickoffs like this big diesel dude. This dude is huge. He, I mean, it, it just it, it's real weird, like to me, how sneaky he is in terms of how big he is. Like you got to get up on him. Like his hands are big. Like he got he got prehistoric male feet. It's like stuff like that. Like <laughs> like he would be able to hunt pterodactyls and 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 like you know raptors and stuff like that. Like he was built like primate style. I don't I don't get it. But no. Nah, but being seriously, Micah, like coming into the situation, you not only knew you could rock the sticks and and be good at doing it. If you're being honest. And be honest, you knew you could exceed what it was, and, and and you started off by leading leading the team in tackles as a non-starting freshman, which was the first thing that has ever it's, that's the first that's ever happened ever at Penn State at linebacker. You, yeah, for sure. Um, you know, I would say I had the mindset. You know, obviously having you support such an early on kind of motivated me to not me want to get on the field and you know, push myself and then, you know, having expectations from being from PA and going to Penn State, there obviously comes with another expectation. Mm -hmm. So my mindset already was coming in was, you know, how do I get better? How do I get on the field? And, you know, it was really like nothing could get in the way between the end goal and what I was doing. So, you know, that was kind of like the mindset I had coming into it. All right. Mindset going into your rookie year. And I'll, and I'll say this. I, I believe you stay healthy you'll be rookie of the year because linebackers, you get a bunch of tackles, they always have a great chance of getting it in. So is that a goal going in as a rookie? And then the second part is talk to me and Plex and the listeners about the mentorship that LeVar has given you and how it's helped you evolve as a player and as a person. Um, yeah, obviously as a rookie, you know, going in, that's the, obviously the end goal to be rookie of the year and, you know, find my way to become a starter and, you know, have a winning season because I feel like as long as you're balling out and you're winning games, all that stuff is going to fall into place for yourself, you know, uh, being within the team. And then obviously, you know, LeVar, uh, physically, you know, I'm, I got the edge on him because he don't want to do it no more. But, <laughs> that's, that's true. Uh, definitely <laughs> mentally, uh, from a mental aspect, you know, teaching me from his mistakes and, you know, from his past and what he done wrong and the things he done right and the things that, you know, he wish he could get back. Uh, just taking in all those long lessons, talks. <laughs> long talks. Hear, uh, <laughs> you know, but honestly, honestly, it was all, like, well worth it, you know. Um, he let me, like, expand my mind uh, wider than I ever thought before and just lets me think outside of the box a lot more. You know? Hey, I've been a part He's of them very, long talks too, Micah. I've been a part of them. <laughs> oh, my goodness. He thinks goodness. outside the box it. more than anybody I've ever met, you know, so. There is uh, no box. There is no box. Uh, yeah. Very intelligent dude and very and very smart and really just <laughs> helped me become just a smarter person. And, you know, you want to expand on that, on, on no, the chess no, no. on the chess set? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what happened on the chess board. Stop lying to the viewers and the people. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hey, so, hey, hey, who, hey, who won the last match, match Who won oh the last match? Hey, you're last. only as good hey. as your last game. That's what well, they say. Hey, there y'all hey, go. That's hey, what Michael. I tell them. Hey, Michael. With all due respect, man, I, I know you from I, I know you from Harrisburg, and I want to say that uh, 
You know, the first time I flew into Harrisburg to the airport, man, I thought I was walking through a 7-Eleven. <laughs> I was like, this is the airport? <laughs> I mean, you walked in through there so quick. I thought I was in a convenience store, man. And that's man, the but... big, that's outside of Philly. That's the big airport in PA. Oh, my oh, goodness. Pittsburgh. That <laughs> is funny. But, yo, man, I, um, I really think, uh, you know, yourself and Jalen Smith, man, y'all going to be special. But uh, do you prefer to play inside or outside? Great question. Um, I prefer to like to play outside just because it's a lot more to do. You honestly, if you go cover three, you could sky and you become the middle guy anyway. But you know, it's just a lot more opportunity to get more one on ones and more blitzing opportunities. I think. But you know, uh, first year, just gonna listen to Dan Quinn and see where his vision is for me. You know, he's one of the great minds of the defense, and we're gonna go from there. Micah, real quick before we let you go, and we really, really appreciate you coming on. One of the things that Dallas is getting that they may not have been aware of or maybe they are aware of is just your your tiredless and, and just heart heartfelt uh, you know, actions and, and movements with uh impacting the community. It's something that is is very near and dear to your heart. I've gotten to to know uh, how much it matters to you about giving young people opportunities that may have not have had those opportunities in, in front of them. Just talk a little bit about how important community service has been for you, and, and has that been a conversation that you've had with the organization since getting drafted? Yeah, uh, they were telling me about the bowling alley uh, right up the road where we could do something because they always wanted to link with the Dallas Cowboys. I was like, you know, you got the right guy. You know, I always wanted to do a bowling event. But, you know, I just think it's so important because at the end of the day, you know, the youth is our future. You know, we are all here for a reason. And it's our job to give back to the community and, you know, reach out to the youth and tell them that, you know, it's okay to be – uh, bigger than your environment, bigger than, you know, other people around you because you got to learn how to separate yourself. And a lot of people, we got stories that we could tell just to reach somebody. Like, people, like, uh, I go back home and people tell me, like, like how important my story and my journey is. And it gives hope to people, you know, when you go back to these communities, you give these kids hope. Mm -hmm. And I think that's one of the best things you can have is hope. Man, that's a beautiful thing, man. This is Micah Parsons, uh, number 12 overall pick. That's a little bit further down from where I was drafted, but that's okay. Um, just thought I'd throw that in there. Um, I, I also thought I'd throw in the fact that uh, TJ Hushmanzada bet that uh, Jason Oway would run a faster 40 time than you, Micah. I bet on you, and I lost. So I just wanted to make sure, since that has been brought up on this show several times, that you'd have an opportunity to hear it on this show that TJ said he saw y'all both out there running. He was like, Jason was going to get you. How so you feel was, about so, that? So what was the bet, though? Uh, nothing. It was a gentleman's bet. Nothing. Oh, it was a gentleman's okay. bet. It's for thank, all this ice goodness. he has on right now. Thank goodness I didn't bet no no money or no no so chains or nothing. I, I just couldn't believe when I, I, I thought, walked out on the field at Golden West, Micah, and I saw both of y'all running, and I'm like, wait, wait. As I got closer – I didn't realize how big y'all were. I thought y'all were receivers. <laughs> and I started getting closer, and I'm like, these dudes are getting bigger and bigger. Mm. I, I just couldn't believe how fast y'all were running. At the size At the they size are. that you guys are, it, it tripped me out. <laughs> well, That boy Jason's a freak. Y'all can't count him in, man. We can't. <laughs> no, you can't. You can't factor him into that. He's he's illegal. We now illegal know. Specimen. We we now know he is 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 one of them. Hey, Micah, we appreciate you coming on the show, man. We look appreciate forward to your you time, brother. Coming Good back luck. on and, and updating us on your progress as the season goes on. Love you, man. Think that you've done an awesome and amazing job. So, from a personal standpoint, so the world could hear it, I'm super proud of you on a personal level and on a professional level. I'm super excited to see what you're able to do because I think you could be one of the great ones to ever do it, man. Thank you, Varn. Love Absolutely. you, brother. Absolutely. Hey, man. All right. Go out there and handle your business, baby.